While taking refuge from the storm, our party is caught in a trap. The floor of their misty mountain cave opens up and they plummet into the caverns below. Having lived here for centuries, the goblins have created a complex maze of structures and walkways. They've worn down the natural forms to create passages only they know how to navigate. To create this complexity, we built the entire cavern in CG, down to the finest detail. This elaborate build also included areas already covered by live action. By replicating the set in CG, we were able to extend the set and choose where we split between live action and CG. Since the goblins are scavengers, they built their city by repurposing the found objects and people of Middle-earth. A helmet becomes a torch, cookware becomes instruments, a bed becomes a throne. Just like the diseased-ridden inhabitants of the cavern, the rock walls have also been infected. As a result, giant pockmarks eat away at the walls. Our models and textures department used a combination of hand-sculpted rocks, scans, and procedural textures to create all the octaves of scale needed for the rock pitting. Within these holes, the goblins find a place to build their shanty houses, creating a vast city. We brought together thousands of creatures, structures, props, and effects with natural forms and dynamic lighting. We did this to create a compelling environment for our characters and audience to fall into. Bring up the mangler! Bring up the bone breaker! Perhaps you know of whom I speak. An old enemy of yours. The Goblin King is a grotesque yet flamboyant character, towering above the other goblins with his obese stature. While he was obviously disgusting, he also needed to be slightly endearing. Our texture and shader teams had to undergo some very unpleasant research to get the king's physical imperfections looking anatomically correct. We studied conditions like herpes, boils, gangrene, tumours, and countless rashes in medical journals. We went to the dark depths of our image library for cuts, burns, and bruises. The challenge then became laying out the various texture maps in a way that was suitably disgusting, but didn't overwhelm the performance. A prominent feature of the king is his neck wattle, which we simulated to hang with weight and gravity. His fat body also benefited from a simulation pass to give the appropriate amount of jiggle. We refined our facial puppet by transposing a number of Barry Humphrey's facial expressions onto the model. They ranged from condescending to suspicious, from cruel sarcasm to amusement, from triumph to fear to rage. We added custom controls to our facial system for his goiter, his scarred right eye, and his wet lips. <laughs> to bring the king to life, we combined Barry Humphrey's facial performance and lots of keyframe animation. We had to unify these inputs into a coherent performance that was funny and engaging, whilst respecting his massive bulk. In addition to Barry's facial, we often layered in his head and body gestures, as they were so integral to the delivery of his dialogue. That'll do it. <laughs>